We have uh, Cliff Angland from Ang uh, Angland's uh, Nursery and Orchard in Kentucky. Uh, he's going to show you a very nice technique here, uh, different from uh, what most of us do. This is something I learned from my grandfather. His name was Blevins England. He had a 65 acre tree farm in Hobby. Don't know if he had any of his money, but he had a nice hobby. <laughs> One of those things you learn before you get 16, because you know once you get 16, you know everything, you've got a car, and you don't hang around, you don't learn them valuable lessons. But wish I was, well, I wish you were still around. Ooh. Generally speaking, when I grab, I grab one bud, and I've gotten good enough that I can just eyeball it tell the size. Knife is going to knife. I've used this one for 20 plus years. Now when I go to the field, I've got about seven different knives in here. So I never come out to sharpen them. Oh, would you hand me that, sir? This is what I use to sharpen them so I can wear the knife away. This is a very fine diamond home. Uh, I'd say it's almost 20 year old too. And very durable. But what I do that's different about this graph is I will split the bark, just the bark on each side. And this goes for all species. This ain't just pop off. I'll split the bark on each side and I'll pull that bark down out of the way. And then I'll make my steep angle cut. And I'll do the same thing on this one, make my steep angle cut, and I do cut toward myself. Notice the kale bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's kale bar tape, you can buy it on Amazon. It works extremely well. It will cut through, but in most cases, it'll give you that knee jerk reaction to get your finger away from it. Alright, on this side, I take the mark off down to the wood. Match up my sides with the bark off in the front, so it's making cal cambium contact on the front and on the sides. Even if you do not line up back both back sides, just that front being exposed to one side is enough to callus. And then I'll put my rubber band on it. These are actually budding rubbers. Unfortunately, you have to buy them by the pound. And they're up to about forty some dollars a pound now. And notice this technique here. I cover up my thumb, I come back, I go under my thumb, and I roll off. So there's no that, you know, keep his time. <laughs> and then I do use this material here. Parafilm, yeah. It's just medical grade parafilm. Can you do that rubber thing in slow motion? <laughs> I don't know that I can do that. <laughs> that should be on a TikTok. I know it's going to be. Good job. I tell you what, I, I watched no the real cool policy. video, and I think I picked up on it, so I'll try to walk you through it. Good. Because I've been doing the little balloon tie things. Good. 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 And then the thing that I do different with the paraffin. I use one small piece and I don't I don't wrap from the top or the bottom in either directions. So it's mostly little, one layer everywhere in anyway. Pardon me? It's mostly it's not overlapping. It's one sheet. Right. And, and you're right, it's not overlapping on the bottom. And the most important part, somebody asked me one time, that tree was already eight tall or so and and it was spread out down here from the growth of the tree. And I said, how did you get that label on that tree? <laughs> <laughs> so, any questions? Do you have a lot of contact with the candy on that method? You do. Yeah. More than just you do. Products. Yeah. This is an unusual question. Can you say the word for the layer under the bark when I can read your books? Cambium? 
to do that. Here's a, here's a big rubber band. Okay. You're going to go over your thumb, mm -hmm. under your thumb, and there you go. Okay. All right? Okay. Okay. That was worth the price of the time. <laughs> 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 okay, you're Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Very good. This is another little tip. This are these are double cut, not double bypass, or not pinch pliers, but these are double, double bladed. AM entered. Unfortunately, they're up to about 70 bucks a pair now. It doesn't crush anything. It cuts from both sides. And it's they're really nice. Uh, AM Leonard? Huh? AM Leonard. Um, uh, Dr. Strang from uh, University of Kentucky taught me about these, oh, man, probably 20 plus years ago, too. Did you access yeah, you can use it on road pushes. What? Yeah, what they normally you can use it on anything. Let me put this back in here. Cliff, huh? What are they normally used for? On these? Those uh, pliers. Yeah. You get their horticulture pliers. Hard They're hard pruners. pruners. Over these things. Yeah. What do you call that, Brett? My grandfather called it a uh, modified bark graft. Yeah. Do you have a question? Oh, five minutes. Oh, okay. Five minutes, Mark. <coughs> okay. Want to demonstrate? Uh, we'll do it. 